going to show you some professional consultancy and speaker tips. This is the software that I use to create presentations quickly, to not have to use presentation software. And at the same time as writing the presentation, I'm also writing a report that I can use and convert into a PDF. So this is what my presentation looks like, this text file here. At the moment, I'm just making notes for a presentation, but the actual slides are this bit of text in between the minus signs. And the speaker notes or the paper that supports this, because I tend to write a lot of information when I'm doing a talk. That's mainly for my benefit, but I do also release that paper as a value add later on. So my paper is actually here inside these HTML comments. It's pretty simple markup. I've got my slide and I've got the stuff that I'm saying and I'll make a lot of notes and there's more things in here. This is a work in progress. But what this allows me to do is I can put this into a tool and generate the slides. Let me show you an example. So this is a presentation I released a couple of days ago. It's a checklist for installing Selenium WebDriver and Java on Windows and Mac. I didn't have to do any work to create this presentation. All I did was on the GitHub project where I've got the checklist, all I had to do in the raw file for this was add the markers to split it up into slides. When it's rendered on GitHub, you can see it adds in extra horizontal rules in the information, which doesn't really impact it when you're viewing it online in GitHub. And it gives me the ability to output a presentation for it. So I've increased the marketing reach for the information I've put together without having to do anything special. And the tool that I've used to do that is called MARP. This is open source. It lets me put Markdown in and generate slides. So this is the presentation that I'm currently working on in MARP. And here it is in MARP. Here's the presentation. Here's the slide we saw. There's the essentially speaker notes or paper. And they're not making any difference in MARP. And you can actually see how easy this is to visualize. And I can just keep going when I'm creating this. I'll type it up. Um, I'm not thinking about the formatting. I'm just putting in the information, making notes, summarizing it into a slide form. And if I had to, I could do this presentation tomorrow by kicking this out as a PDF and do the presentation from that. But the other benefit I've got is I can use Pandoc. Pandoc is a markdown processing tool that will take markdown as input and it will generate nice PDF output. So I can output a report format for my presentation. You can see the slides are in there. You can see extra notes that are not in the slides and I can expand that out and put in written information and that's all quite useful. And the way I do that is from the command line. And the way I use Pandoc is I first of all take the text file that has all the markdown in it, replace all the HTML comments with markdown new lines. The start comment here, I've just given it five minus signs. The end comment, I've given it six minus signs, which lets me replace them back to HTML comments if I want. But having replaced the comments, I then put it into Pandoc and say Pandoc, take this markdown file, then output a PDF. I could replace the HTML comments with empty spaces and then I'll get a nicer formatted report. Currently I'm using Mark to see what the presentation looks like in a very rough format and Pandoc to generate a nice PDF output. I could also use Dillinger to view the output. And you can see here that Dillinger actually shows me the HTML comments. So I probably couldn't use this to generate a PDF, but this is a very easy way when I'm working on a presentation to paste it in here to see the slides and my notes quite easily. Now the most recent tool that I've started investigating is called DeskSet. DeskSet is a Mac only tool and it basically takes the markdown and generates nicely formatted slides. So let me get my Mac up here. So this gives me the ab ability to put in the raw markdown and try it with different themes. So I can see what it looks like with different formats. MARP comes with some themes, but not very many. 
I imagine I could add more and customize more in MARP, but DeckSec gives me a whole bunch of modern uh, templates out of the box. Let's look at a more modern one. So here's a more modern template, this kind of thing you might see. And I can add images and things in here, change the colors. And without too much effort, I can go from a very rough set of notes with my embedded paper information and kick out a presentation like this that I could quite easily use at a conference. This is a very professional looking presentation. I could use this in a conference and I could support my presentation with the paper that I'm outputting, all from a single text file. And at no point am I really having to worry about the formatting or mess around between slides and different tools. If you want to try it, learn a little bit about Markdown, experiment with Pandoc, have a look at MARP. It's very easy to use. It runs on most platforms. It's a single installer. You can actually edit the Markdown in here. Experiment with Dillinger. There's help files for Dillinger and MARP and Pandoc. And you could get started doing this without having to use a presentation tool to create presentations. And you can kick them out in multiple formats and reuse that single source file in different ways.